This video will cover the creation and editing of intersections in Road Architect. Intersections can be created by dragging a node on top of another node. Four-way and three-way intersections can be created. To create a four-way intersection, the roads need to intersect. Here we will create another road and run it perpendicular to the existing road. The idea is to place the intersecting node roughly near the other roads node to provide for a more accurate representation of the roads direction during the intersection. Now that we have placed the road per perpendicular to the other road, we can drag the node onto the other node to create our intersection. Note that the intersection by default is a no turn lane intersection with stop signs. We will go over the options for intersections later in this video. To create a three-way intersection, the road must intersect at, a, at the other road's start node or end node. Here we will use the other road's end node as an intersection point. Note that by default, a three-way intersection is also created as a no-turn lane intersection with stop signs. To edit an intersection, either select the blue intersection gizmo in the scene view, or select the intersection in the hierarchy window. To select the blue gizmo, simply click on the blue gizmo in the scene view. To select it from the hierarchy window, find your intersection in the intersections list to edit the intersection. The first option is auto update. If this option is checked, the intersection will automatically update when parameters are changed. You may want to disable this feature when working with extremely large road systems. The next option is Gizmo. This will simply show or hide the Gizmo. This is useful when wanting to view a more realistic view in the scene view. The next option is the intersection turn lane options. You have three choices, no turn lanes, left turn lane, and both left and right turn lanes. What you see now is no turn lanes. The next option is left turn lane only. This will provide a left lane turn only on all roads. The traffic light system will integrate with these choices. The next option is the both left and right turn lane. This will provide a right turn lane in addition to the left turn lane. The traffic light system will also adapt to this choice. The next option is left yield on green. And we will come back to that after we go discuss this next option. The next option is the intersection stop type. It's a simply a choice between stop signs and traffic lights. We'll switch it back to left turn lane only and change it to traffic lights. Note that we have left turn yield on green. This option simply provides the ability to change this left signal between a three light system and a five light system. The next option is traffic light timing. There are two options, fixed time and other. Fixed time will allow you to specify the time in seconds for each light segment. Other is for use when you customize the code itself, the uh, source code. Most of the time you'll use fixed time. The next options are the traffic light poles. You can attach street light poles to the intersection poles. You can also change the next option is changing the color of the pole itself. The choices are black and gray. The gray is a galvanized steel color. The next option is normal pole alignment. This is a complicated option. Uh, if you have a road system which has weird angles as it enters the intersection, sometimes you'll have an intersection which poles don't align correctly with the road. And you can try adjusting this normal pole alight option and see if that fixes your issue. Next option is point lights. 
There are point lights on the street lights and point lights on each stoplight. For each stoplight, if it's a three light system, there are three point lights. If it's a five light system, there are five point lights. These can be disabled with this checkbox here. Below that, you can adjust the street light options, the range, intensity, and color. The next option is traffic light scaling and sensitivity. Adjusting this option will change the actual size of the traffic lights relative to the distance from the line at which the traffic light represents. For instance, if we adjust this to be smaller, then the traffic light shrinks. The bigger we go, the bigger the traffic light. The next option is the grade correction factor. This adjusts the grade correction factor used on the entry points from the intersection to the regular road system itself. Sometimes when you are entering the, entering the intersection with a road system that is of really high uh, road grade, there might be some train that pokes through the entry point here. And adjusting this grade correction factor will allow you to remove that train poking through. Note that the previous two option mentions uh, do not uh, auto update. You will have to manually update the intersection to see these updates. The next option is default materials. The default materials are the materials which come with Road Architect, uh, as you see here. And as you change from no turn lane to multi lane systems, or left and right turn lanes, uh, if you have this option checked, it will automatically change the materials for you to the appropriate uh, materials for those options.